Hello again. Um, I did not expect to be back so soon, but the uh, Laceous Niger caught me by surprise and decided to have a nuptial flight this afternoon. So, to answer questions, one of the questions that I often see asked is, from UK people, is how do I catch a Laceous Niger Queen? And I always answer, just walk out onto the pavement on the right day of the year and pick as many as you want up from the pavement. So this footage here is just me walking along, hardly walking along the pavement and you can just see how how many there are. It's just one after another after another. I and mean, I could have caught five right here. Um, but I did, I've got three. Um, and obviously once you've caught your queen in something, and um, I'll talk about that in a bit, um, what you're going to need to do now is to put her into a water test tube. Um, so, the first thing you do is you fill a test tube half full of water. Now, I personally, and this is my choice, use tap water. But all the advice on ant keeping forums and everything like that is use bottled water. So, make your choice yourself. I use tap water, it's fine for me. Um, then, take a cotton wool bar and your barbecue skewer and push the cotton wool right into the water. You can push it so that the top of the cotton wool goes underneath the surface of the water, which is what I do here. Because if your bung is properly tight enough and everything, um, you should be able to just turn the tube upside down and shake excess out. And if there is still leakage, then your cotton wool bung is not tight enough. I will actually show you at the end, I will stand the tube upside down so that you can see that everything is um, in order. I just flatten the cotton wool down a little bit there to get a nice flat surface on it because that's where the ants will live, mostly on that surface of the cotton wool. And then I just dry out any excess water with a, a standard kitchen towel. Um, and then, as I said, I will stand this upside down at the end so that you can see, or, and this you should do this, and check that, you know, no, no, no water leaks out. It's solid, it's secure, um, it's a tight fit, um, but it's wet because obviously you've pushed it down below the level of the water, so it's fully um, immersed in the water. And there you go, that is a water test tube ready for our queen. So, um, yeah, as I said, the little ladies caught me by surprise. And on the way home from work, um, the only thing, I saw them running around all over the place. And I thought, Let, let's catch a couple, just in case there aren't any when I get home. And all I had to hand was this bottle top and some cling film. Um, so another question uh, I often see asked is, you know, can an ant survive in an airtight container? And the answer to that is, yes, they can for a while. You know, I had these ants, because I caught a second like this, I had them in a bottle top, wrapped in cling film, with that much air, for about an hour before I transferred them. And as you can see, because of the trouble I'm having trying to get her in, um, they're fine. Now, when you're handling queens, don't handle them, don't put any pressure on them, don't pick them up otherwise you might damage them. So just try to coax them. I use the point there just to sort of try and move her and eventually I get her. And also what I'd say to you is here is don't panic. They're, they're quite big, they're quite slow moving as you can see. They're not exactly going to escape. Just keep, be patient, keep working around until eventually you can get them to go in the tube if you've got them in something strange like, like a bottle top. Um, this other, this second one went in a lot easier. Um, gravity helped. I basically tipped her in, and she sort of walked down and on onto the side, so she was a lot quicker and easier. And then I, um, I also caught a, a third one on the um, street outside when I was making the video for earlier. So I have actually got three. Um, and in a minute, I label them up. We're going to call them A, B, and C. So I've made a water test tube for each. Um, just getting her into her place. And um, they're all now in the test tubes. So yeah, this is a Laceous Niger Queen. This is what you're trying to catch out on the pavement. And she looks quite settled, um, quite serene there. 
This one is not, not so settled, still running around, but they'll calm down. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, we'll, we'll wrap the tubes and, and get them dark. But yeah, that's what a, a not a settled ant looks like. Antennae going like mad, running backwards and forwards. This one's also not too happy at this stage, look, still going. But anyway, as I said, I've wrapped them all in foil, labelled them up, ABC. And this footage was actually taken after I'd had dinner, so it was taken about half an hour or so later. So I thought, let's just have a look at them. So just have a look to see. And they've all actually calmed right down, accepted that they're in a nice place for them that will be good to lay eggs. And they've calmed down. You can see that's what a nice calm queen looks like. Gentle waving of the antennae slow steps, not charging around. I mean, she gets a little more agitated here because she's been exposed to the light look, so I think, okay, I'll put you back in the dark. And then these other two, um, B and C, these were the two that were running around madly um, about half an hour ago. Half an hour is enough. They've also calmed right down look. Um, antennae gently waving in the air, just smelling her surroundings. And yeah, healthy queens. I can't see anything wrong with any of them. Um, and there we go. The uh, tutorial starts here. Three queens, A, B and C. Um, so as I said, what I've done, I've wrapped um, tin foil around the tubes, uh, labelled them up, and in a minute I will um, put them in a box, and then i pop that box up on a shelf and just leave them. And we'll have another look at them I don't know, maybe midweek, and we'll talk about inspecting your queens and whether or not you can or cannot do that. But basically, yes, you can with Lacius Niger. People go on on these forums about, oh, you know, don't disturb your queen, she'll eat her eggs. Da, 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 da. I'll show you how you can look at your queens, no problem, as often as you want. It, it's not about um, looking at the queen, it's about keeping the tubes level. You'll see here, look, I don't roll the tubes, keep the tubes level, level so that gravity down basically doesn't change for the queen. Um, and yeah, you can see they don't really like it when they suddenly jump from dark to full light like this. I mean, our antennae are going quite, quite, quite a lot there. She's waving them and you can see she started walking. So we have basically, that's an indication we've disturbed her by, by pulling that um, but if you bring them into semi-dim light, like not full daylight, like I've done here, they don't get that type of reaction. But I'll show you, I'll show you in a later video. So yeah, into the box they go, away they go, and thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next update, but I'm so happy we've got three queens for me to show you, bringing them up from start to finish. Goodbye.